Imagine the following situation. You're on vacation here in the U.S. You rent a car, and now you're driving. You're going to Disney World. Everything's good, and then suddenly, you look in the rearview mirror, and you see those red and blue lights, and you hear... Yes, my friend, you are being stopped by the police. So, you stop the car, you roll down the window, and then the cop, he comes up to the car, and he says... License, registration, insurance. Huh? O que que ele falou? Quais documentos ele pediu e como você deveria responder? Hey guys, it's me, Scott, from English Exchange, and today I want to tell you a couple stories about my experiences with the police, both here in the U.S. and in Brazil. Spoiler alert, they are completely different, and I was not at all prepared. So today we're going to practice our listening and talk about some vocab and what to do if you find yourself in a similar situation here in the U.S. And number three, yes, of course, we're going to laugh at my misfortune. Antes de começar, só quero deixar claro que eu respeito a lei, eu respeito a maioria de policiais, mas acredito que sim, a instituição em si tem muitos problemas, tem racismo e eu acho que precisa haver grandes mudanças na polícia. Mas não quero discutir política aqui. We're just trying to have some fun and learn some English. Ok? Parte o vídeo. The first time I ever got pulled over was for speeding. Well, the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time. But the first time I had a really good reason, ok? So, I was 18 years old. Imagine this. It was 2011. I had had my license for about a year with no incidents. Okay, one beautiful night. I'm at the movie theater on a date. On a hot date, okay? This girl is beautiful. She's five years older than me, and she has her own house. So anyway, I think the, the date is going well. Maybe I'll get a second date later. But no, she surprises me. I walk her to her car, and she says, hey, Scott. Here's my address. Meet me there. What? <laughs> I mean, 18 year old Scott, this is music to my ears. This is the best case scenario, man. I mean, so I sprint to my car, I get in, and I am going. I don't have time for stop signs or a speed limit or anything. I need to go because me and this girl, we are gonna play video games. <laughs> Obviously, what did you think? So I'm cruising, the music is blasting, life is good, and then suddenly I notice those red and blue lights behind me, and I realize, oh crap, I'm going 20 over. That's 20 miles per hour over the speed limit. And then everything changes, and I think, oh my gosh, my life is over, I'm gonna lose my license, I'm gonna go to jail, my parents are gonna murder me. But hold on, Scott, no, calm down, and calm down you as well. I was getting pulled over, and this is what I did, and this is what you should do as well. Step one is pull over. Separado pela polícia aqui é be pulled over. The cop is pulling you over because you need to pull over to the side of the road. Or you need to go all the way to the right. Do not, do not, do not stop the car on the left side of the road. It's dangerous for the cop. It's dangerous for you. He's going to get mad and you will definitely get a ticket. So use your turn signal and slowly pull to the side of the road and smoothly come to a stop. Put your car in park. Step two is prepare your vehicle. Okay, so hide the drugs. I'm just kidding. Stop. I'm kidding. No. First, turn your music down. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. If it's nighttime, turn on the light and then roll down your window. Step three is chill out and do not, under any circumstances, get out of the car. Dude, in the U.S., if the cop sees you getting out of the car, he thinks, uh, one, you're running away, or two, you're a threat, and that is bad. Okay, so just chill out, okay, hands on the steering wheel, don't reach for anything, don't reach for your driver's license or any documentation yet, two hands on the wheel, just chill out. Now, again, when the cop comes to your window, he's going to ask for three things. License, registration, insurance. In regular English, that's a driver's license, car registration, and proof of insurance. Habilitação, documento do carro e seguro. If you're just visiting the U.S. for the first six months, you can use your Brazilian driver's license 
that's okay. And if you're renting the car, you probably are. The documents are in the glove box. So basically pull over to the right side of the road, do not get out of the car, and just wait for him to ask for those three documents. Then just be cool, be respectful, and you will either get a warning or a ticket. In my case, I got my very first traffic ticket. It was like 200 bucks. Uh, apparently my excuse as to why I was speeding wasn't good enough. So yeah, I got a ticket, but I didn't get arrested. I didn't go to jail, nothing bad happened. If you just follow those steps, unless you're a black guy. <laughs> But apparently that is not how it works in Brazil. So this is a few years later, a couple years ago, I'm in Brazil, Hey, engine here's on the needle. It's me, my sister, her friend, and then like three other dudes. So we're all hanging out at a restaurant, we're chilling, and it's getting pretty late. It's probably like one in the morning. And I say, all right guys, well, I have to work. So, you know, let's go. If you just drop me off, that'd be great. But they didn't want to, dude. They wanted to go to another bar. They wanted the night to continue probably because the driver was trying to hook up with my sister. No, no chance. So anyway, we're in the car, we're kind of arguing. I'm like, no, I really got to go home. And he's like, no, dude, we got to keep this party going. Classic Brazilian. He's not paying attention and he runs a red light. Well, guess who was also at the red light? Yes, there was a cop car, a viatura. We don't have like a specific name, just a cop car, police car. And yeah, homeboy runs the red light and obviously, bloop, bloop, we get pulled over. But at this point in my life, I was experienced. This is not my first rodeo. I had been pulled over before. It's no big deal. I'm chilling. You know, the cop is gonna ask for the license and then he'll give us a warning and then we'll go on with our night. No big deal. That's what I thought. And then I immediately started to get worried when I heard the cop say, Oh, todo mundo sai do carro, seus vagabundo. Okay, he probably didn't say that, and he probably wasn't wearing glasses because it was in the middle of the night. But basically, yeah, yeah, he told us to get out of the car, and in the U.S., if the cop tells you to get out of the car, that's it, man. You're basically, you're going to jail, you're getting arrested, something bad is happening. So now I'm starting to freak out. So I'm getting out of the car, and I'm realizing, holy crap, I don't have any documentation, I don't have my passport, my little sister's with me, oh, my parents are gonna kill me. And then, I get out of the car, I look over at the cops, and both the cops are standing behind the door, and one of them has a uma arma desse tamanho aqui, apontar para a gente, e o parceiro dele também com a pistola assim, que sai do carro, seus vagabundos! Again, I don't know if he said exactly that, but like, hey, I've seen Tropa de Elite, I know how it works. So in my mind, that was basically it. I mean, I'm dead, my little sister's dead, all of us were gonna get shot by the police, I've seen the movies, you have more hey, hey, Zayn, he's on the Great. Because in the US, if the cop draws his gun, that, that's it, dude, game over, you're getting shot. But luckily, no, it was the weirdest thing. He just asked the driver where we're going, he said he's dropping everyone off, we're going home. He says something to his partner, and he says, get out of here, vaza, vai embora. Didn't even ask to see anyone's driver's license, the dude just ran a red light. There's like six or seven people in this car. And then after that, I was trying to figure it out. I was like, man, that's so weird. I mean, nothing happened. He had us get out of the car, pointed a gun at us, and then he just said, get out of here. And then I realized, oh yeah, I forgot. We're a bunch of white guys. So yeah, as you can see, very different experiences, but if you just follow those simple rules, it'll be all good. Oh yeah, and the ending to that first story, well, after I went to the girl's house and guess what we did all night long? I played Resident Evil 5. You think I'm joking, but that's literally what we did. And it was amazing, no regrets. Except for the getting pulled over part. That part I do regret. So that's it guys, be safe out there. Don't speed, have fun at Disney World. Once again, I'm Scott and this is English Exchange. Peace out.